Hey everybody, let's look at operators. Hello, calling all the operators. Operators, let's call the operator. Well, we've looked at math functions in the past. So for example, something uh, just as simple as the negative of negative five uh, will spin out five. All right, so those are basic, basic, math, basic arithmetic <laughs> math stuff. Uh, one of the things that you might not know is something called modulo. And what this does is a basically a division remainder. So for example, if I do 13 modulo, which is the percent modulo five, it's going to do 13 divided by five. And what's left over? Three, right? So that's the remainder. Whereas if I did 12, there'd be a remainder of two. And I did 11 and did a remainder of one. And then zero, remainder of zero. So for example, if I wanted to figure out whether something would be even or not, this would be a quick test, where if I did 10 modulo 2, it would give me 0. There'd be no remainder. Whereas if I did 11 modulo 2, it'd give me a remainder of 1. And if I did 12, it would be 0. 13 modulo 2 would be 1. So can you figure out how you would test to see if you would get an even number or not? What would the modulo be? Well, if the modulo was a zero, it would be even. And if it was a one, you know that it would be odd. So that's a quick way to test whether or not an, a number is even, which is pretty cool. I'm not sure if we talked about powers, which is this little carrot thing or not, but it, that will do the power of uh, 13 to the power of two or 13 squared. And you could easily change that as well. And it will give you, you know, you could do as big a number as you want and it's huge all right so that's uh that's pretty cool we have talked about whether or not certain things are equal to one another for example one is that equal to one yes it is it says true the squiggly would be false because it is telling you it is not and there's several different things you can do it does work with strings as well so for example a is a less than b well let's see a is less than B because it goes into the alphabetical order. Whereas if I do B and A, I just flip flop them around, it is false because A comes before uh, in the alphabetical order. Does that make sense? All right, a couple other things here that you can look at. Or, for example, let me do something like an and or a not or an or. True or true. Is going to spit out true whereas true or false what's that going to spit out that's going to spit out true what about true and false is that that is weird what does that spit out and that spits out false because you can't be true and false whereas false and false is false can you follow along here true and true true and true is true <laughs> whereas if you said something like this uh, I want something I want to compare is one greater than zero and is two greater than zero. What's it going to spit out? This is true and this is true, so it'll spit out true. If both of them are true, then it'll spit out true. Whereas now one is true, the first is true, and the second is false. It's going to spit out false because and with and they both have to be true. Otherwise, they won't work. Okay. Whereas if I did something like this, one is greater than zero, which is true, and not two is less than zero. Well, that's false, so it's going to spit out true because they are... Oh, it doesn't like that. Not... We could do this one. Let's just make it easy. Not false. Boom, there it is. So this right side is true, and this left side is true as well, so it's going to do that. You can also do not not false, which is false because the two nots cancel each other out, okay? Uh, the or is kind of the same way. Just cover that one more time. If we did one is greater than zero or two is greater than zero, that's going to spit out true because one or the other is true. Whereas if I make this one false, hit refresh, boom, it's still true because the left side is true. Or in order for it to be true is either one or the other. They don't both have to be true. Does that make sense? So that's pretty much it for the operators. Very short there, but to give you a little bit of an idea of how to work with true and false, uh, greater than uh, or equal to, 
you're comparing the numbers there as well as some of the other math operators that we have not looked at in the past. So thanks for joining me.